YouTube land, Rival here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, as you can see, I got a pair of grails on the turntable for you this week. Uh, if you are not familiar, we've got a, a Jason Stout and a Jim Smith Customs. Uh, pretty uh, pretty stoked to have the opportunity just to even work on these, these kind of knives. Uh, nonetheless, the types of materials that we got to play around with on them. So uh, we'll dive into the Smith first. Um, when we got, or when I got my hands on this particular knife, sorry about that, there we go. Uh, when I got my hands on this particular knife, uh, it was just full flat stone wash. So the bolsters that you see there were actually these. And they were originally shadow boxed, uh, which is why they don't, they don't fully match or fully cover. I mean, that's, that was the design the uh, uh, original maker had. So that's the design I stuck with. Um, whoops, sorry. <clears throat> um, I'm sure the light is not going to catch uh, nearly how awesome this Timascus looks. Um, it's kind of hard to catch good light where I'm at. Plus, it's it's very reflective. Um, it's a polished, what, 800 grit finish um, to get uh, some good color like this. And we've got good even blues um, uh, and a little bit of silvers and, and uh, some maybe light, you know, just a light touch of purple in the right light. Um, but these bolsters turned out flipping amazing. Well, oh, there was some good light there. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Hopefully you get an idea. I'll have pictures uh, of these as well. There you go. That seems to be catching some good light. Um, overall, the design of this knife is pretty interesting even to begin with. It looks funky to say the least. Uh, but it is extremely ergonomic. I mean, every curve is in there for a reason. When you get this thing open... Um, every curve fits into a part of your hand. Um, you know, even the jimping up top, it really, it really locks in there. It is a really comfortable knife. That recurve is insane. Um, you know, action, eh, I don't know. It, it's, I've had better, I've had worse. It's a push button flipper for sure. Um, I've never, I've never handled a Smith before. So this is my first experience with, you know, this knife, this type of knife, um, uh, it is, it's on washers, not bearings, uh, but you wouldn't know it. I mean, it is, it is crazy smooth, um, very smooth. And then, you know, like I said, you know, adding the bolsters on to it, um, just kind of kicks it up a notch. Uh, there was originally a pocket clip that was tipped down, um, on the backside here. It was a, it was a big old thing too. Taking that off, as you can see, just to kind of preserve the overall contours. I believe he's going to send this in and get get a tip up pocket clip going, uh, which would balance, I think, uh, the bolsters a little bit and uh, make it for a really, really nice carry. Because this thing, I mean, is very, very slender, very slim. Uh, very nice knife. Well, well done. Uh, perfect centering. Every, every, every inch of this knife is, is just contoured by hand which you can feel when you got it in your hands. So amazing knife. All right. Swapping it out for the stout. Um, if you guys have never heard of Jason stout, definitely uh, give him a look up because this dude makes some seriously badass blades. Um, so this is a beefy little folder. It originally had this, uh, this was originally just plain, plain titanium, plain gray. Um, front side was just this nice G10, you know, working, working scale, working knife. Um, definitely built to, uh, to do some work. Uh, I think I've said that like five times now. Huh? Um, but what we did on this one is also a Timascus upgrade, but on this one I did a full scale replacement. Um, and as you can see the pattern on here, this is the, uh, oh shoot, what is it? Like the raindrop. Um, so it definitely looks like, you know, just a row of raindrops up and down. Really shows off nice, uh, the pattern on this type of scale, just having the opportunity to do a full scale. This is also the raindrop. Um, but as you can see, this is just the top layer that I've, I've sanded and, um, you know, polished up to, uh, to be able to show off this, when you started, um, contouring it and rounding it, um, it was originally the same pattern, but now we just see more of the layers as it goes in and out, um, because of the contouring that's on here. So, uh, both came from the same sheet of Timascus, white Timascus from AKS, um, so this was a pretty fun blade to work on. I mean, I got to, to swap out the entire scale and then just to kind of match things up a bit, I flame anodized this, uh, because keep in mind, you know, to get the color out of the Timascus, both of these, uh, are colored with a blowtorch. 
Um, <clears throat> so I flame anodized the back at the same time I was doing the front of this just to get a good, uh, you know, con uh, con consistent uh, overall look. Um, I flamed the hardware on this too. Uh, I thought they were titanium hardware, but it's, it's steel hardware. Um, and then I flamed the, uh, thumb disc, um, to give it like a little bronzing and stuff so that everything just kind of flows and looks good together. Um, give you an idea what this looks like. So there is the blade overall. Try to get it back in that light. Oh. There you go, guys. Um, so just to get an overall idea, kind of like a, a chunky work and Bowie style, almost a uh, clip point. Um, very comfortable overall. You know, it's a it's not the biggest knife in the world. It's kind of small. I believe it's a three inch blade. Um, very wide, very nice, deep hollow grind. So it is a, a wicked slicer. Um, very comfortable in the hand though. Uh, and, uh, I'm glad I was able to get the scale overall, you know, kind of fitting and looking the way it does. Um, it, <laughs> the action is very much like it's brand new again, so it's going to have to get broken in a little bit, but I mean, I can already middle finger, bleh, excuse me, middle finger flick it out. Um, so with a little time and a little tenderness, she going to be good. She's going to be flipping good. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of, you know, Tamascus, the downside, especially to get some of these good, uh, well, hello. Uh, get it looking good with the patterns and all that. You got to have a high polish. You're going to get some fingerprinting and such going on. Um, but really, especially when you get to these, uh, the blue ranges, just a good, uh, good polishing cloth <sighs> and a nice deep breath. Rubs them right off. And then you're back to just, you know, show grade style scale again. That's why when you're walking around all those knife shows, all the dealers that got these pretty show knives, pretty anodized knives, you know, the the second you hand it back to them, they're rubbing it down with a cloth and giving it a spray of Windex to get all them fingerprints off, get it looking good and sexy again. So these finishes hold up pretty darn good. They're going to be looking pretty good and pretty sexy for a while. Um, I know this gentleman actually uses his knives, though, so I'll be interested to see how uh, they hold up over time. Um, you know, a little patina, a little pocket wear and all that jazz. But uh, all in all, these are the two knives I had to show off. We got the Jason Stout. We got the Jim Smith. Uh, I got some more videos that are coming up right after this. So like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.